Today on Reengineer You, I've got a super simple, very delicious beef stew recipe that takes no time at all to prepare. So don't go anywhere because that's coming up next. Hello everyone and welcome to Re-Engineer You, the number one show for massive weight loss. I am your host, Cameron Magerchuk, Master Transformation Coach. And as you can see, we're back in my kitchen again. We're gonna make, uh, we have a real good recipe for you guys coming at you today. Very, again, as with, it, as, as with every recipe that I make, very, very simple, very easy, uh, and takes literally no time at all. So I've done a little bit of prep work here, um, but what we're gonna be making today is a beef stew. And we're gonna slow cook it, Got my trusty slow cooker out here, as is uh, as I mostly have out on, on most days for these recipes, because it's just so, so simple. And if you don't have a slow cooker, I highly recommend getting one because they are amazing. Uh, and it just takes all the, all the hassle out of cooking. Um, so very, very easy to use. Uh, you can have a lot of great recipes and pretty much everything that you put in there turns out tasting great. So I'm convinced that you could probably put a brick into this slow cooker and have it come out tasting fabulous. So. Uh, but basically what we're gonna do today is a beef stew. So just a handful of ingredients. Um, and so what we have is a pound of beef, of uh, cut up beef strips here. So just steak kind of cut up is into a beef stew type of mix. Uh, so we've got about a pound of, of beef there. We've got uh, some beef broth, low sodium beef broth. Uh, we're gonna throw in some minced garlic, which I, I have this, uh, this minced garlic that's pre-minced already here. It's just a lot easier, um, but I would usually normally be using uh, real garlic and cut up and, uh, and mince that way, but I'm just in a bit of a rush here today, so I didn't have time to do that, so we're gonna use uh, the minced garlic that way. Then for spices, we're gonna throw in some oregano. We're gonna have some basil. We have rosemary. We've got uh, some crushed chilies. We're gonna throw in some paprika and some pepper. Okay, so just real basic spices. Uh, and for vegetables, oh, we're also gonna throw in some bay leaves. We've got a couple bay leaves here that we're gonna throw in. Uh, for vegetables, we have just some carrots, uh, radishes, green peppers, red peppers, and some red onion. Okay, uh, you could also, you know, if you have some, some cauliflower or, or uh, celery, you could throw that in there also. Uh, just whatever vegetables you like, toss them in. And then I have uh, some cut up red potatoes here also that I'm gonna add to mine. Now, as a substitute for that, I know if you're, a lot of people watching this are probably gonna be looking for more of a low carb type option, uh, reducing the starches and things like that. So if you are looking for more of a low carb option for this, just omit the potatoes. So you don't have to use them, um, or alternatively you could use, could use like a sweet potato or, or yam or something like that as well, would fit very nicely in with this stew as well. So uh, either just omit it completely or you know, throw in a sweet potato or whatever. I have, I, I'm not too concerned about the carbs today, so uh, I'm gonna throw in some potatoes into mine. And that's about it. So basically we're just gonna throw all that junk into this slow cooker. Uh, I'm gonna slow cook it for about six hours on low and it's gonna come out looking fabulous, okay? So let's start adding some of this in here. Uh, so first of all, I guess we'll add in this beef. So like I said, I have about a pound of, of beef here. Uh, local, locally raised, grass fed, of course. So we'll dump that in there. So got the beef in there, that's good. And then we'll dump in the potatoes here, dump that in. I'm gonna throw in all of these cut up peppers, radishes, carrots, all of that, throw in our vegetables and our onion. Okay, so we've got lots, lots of vegetables in there now. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of beef broth. So I'll dump in about a, you know, a cup to two cups, right about two cups here of beef broth, about half a contain, half a box is what I'm probably gonna end up end up with in here, maybe a little bit more. 
I like my stew to be a little bit, a little bit more liquid, more liquidy. So I'll add a little bit more. I'll add a little bit more of the beef broth in there for that to make it a little more liquidy. Let's we'll stir that up, break up the beef a little bit more. So, and like the great thing about stews, like you can add whatever you want in here. Like you can throw in different vegetables, you can take the potatoes out, cook with potatoes, no potatoes. Uh, I made a good stew with elk a couple weeks ago, uh, which was really, really nice. So, you can throw whatever type of beef, uh, meat you want in with, with the stew here and it'll likely turn out amazing, uh, as is everything. So then I'm gonna throw in a, some garlic here. So if you're using this type of minced garlic, then you'll, you can use quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna use probably a couple, couple teaspoons worth of it. So you can dump a lot of that in there. I love garlic also, so, and so does my girlfriend. So I will use quite a bit of this. And so the garlic is kind of a taste thing too. You know, use as much as you, as you feel uh, you like to. So you don't want to overdo it, but you want to have enough in there that's going to taste pretty good. So then I'm going to throw in some oregano, which will be, end up being about, what a teaspoon-ish. Maybe a couple teaspoons. A couple teaspoons of oregano. I'm going to throw in some rosemary now. So I'll just dump. Well, again, about a teaspoon, a couple teaspoons worth of oregano just for some spice or some flavor. Basil, same thing, about a teaspoon's worth in there. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of crushed chilies in with mine. Uh, my girlfriend doesn't like spicy stuff, but I do, so I'll just put a little bit in there. Not too much, about half a teaspoon. Uh, paprika, again, just about a teaspoon, teaspoon of paprika for a little bit of flavor there. And then some pepper. So pepper, just to taste whatever you like. Put, that's about a teaspoon, a couple teaspoons worth of pepper. Then we'll stir this up in there. Mix it all up, work it in. Ooh, I can smell that, it smells really good. This is gonna be nice, so. We'll mix that all up in there. All nicely, get the juices all mixed in. Okay, and I'll dump my bay leaves in there like so. Just for some more flavor. And that's it. So we've got everything all in there now. So as you can see, just real nice in there. It uh, doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but in about six hours, it's gonna look amazing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I'm gonna finish up there. Uh, I'm gonna put this here in the slow cooker, put it back here, throw the lid on, put it on low, and we're done. So literally, as you can see, that took what, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes to dump everything in there. I was prepping, I cut everything up beforehand. It took me probably about 10 minutes to prep everything and then five minutes to dump it all in. And now we just wait. So six hours, uh, we'll come back at you and we'll see what the beef stew looks like. So as you can see, it turned out pretty well. Uh, like I said before, just uh, typical easy beef stew uh, we got. That, uh, that beef, green peppers, green, uh, green peppers, red peppers, potatoes, a uh, whole bunch of spices, carrots, uh, all that good stuff in there. So, and again, like I said before, if you wanna make this a little bit more of a low carb option, then just omit the potatoes and uh, use, you could even use something like cauliflower uh, to give it a little more of a, of a base sort of thing, uh, make a little more filling or just leave it out completely. Um, so yeah, that's the beef stew. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, please click the like, tweet, plus one buttons below and share this with your friends and family so that everyone can enjoy these great meals and that are very simple, very easy to use and benefit from these tips and videos that I've been sharing with you guys. Uh, and if you want my free report on three secrets for massive weight loss that you probably don't know about, go to the website reengineeru.com today and you can grab that absolutely 100% for free. I'll see you guys next time.